In this video, you will get short and long summary, summary in Nepali, main points, and important questions and answers. Very short summary of Only Daughter. In Only Daughter, Sandra Cisneros talks about her life as the only girl in a big Mexican-American family with six brothers. She feels the pressure to meet her father's expectations, who wants her to marry and follow traditional roles. Instead, she wants to be a writer, which makes her father unhappy. Cisneros shares how she often felt overlooked and how her father didn't understand her dreams. When she finally gets published, he starts to appreciate her work, showing that he is proud of her, even if he still struggles to express it. The story highlights her journey to find her own voice and the challenge of balancing her cultural identity with her personal ambitions. It emphasizes the importance of being true to oneself, despite family expectations. Long summary. In Only Daughter, Sandra Cisneros shares her experiences growing up as the only girl in a Mexican-American family with six brothers. From a young age, she feels different and sometimes invisible in a family that values traditional roles, particularly for women. Cineros describes how her father has strong ideas about what a daughter should do. He wants her to marry and follow the path of a typical housewife, which makes her feel pressured. While her brothers are encouraged to pursue their dreams, she often feels that her ambitions as a writer are not taken seriously. This creates a sense of isolation for her. Despite her father's expectations, Cineros is determined to follow her passion for writing. She spends a lot of time reading and working on her stories, hoping to be recognized for her talent. She reflects on how difficult it can be to balance her desire for approval from her family with her need to express herself creatively. As she grows older and becomes a published author, she starts to gain some recognition. Cineros describes a pivotal moment when she visits her father and presents him with a copy of her book. Initially, he doesn't show much emotion, which hurts her. However, later, he expresses pride in her accomplishments, showing that he has come to appreciate her work, even if it's hard for him to fully accept her choices. Throughout the essay, Cisneros explores themes of identity, family loyalty, and the struggles of being a woman in a traditional culture. She highlights the challenges of seeking acceptance while trying to stay true to oneself. By the end of her story, Cisneros emphasizes the importance of following one's dreams, regardless of the expectations placed by family or society. She finds strength in her identity as a writer and realizes that her voice matters, even in a world that may not always recognize it. Overall, Only Daughter is a heartfelt reflection on the journey of self-discovery the complexities of family relationships, and the courage it takes to pursue one's dreams. Only Daughter by Sandra Cisneros explores themes of identity, family expectations, and the struggle for recognition. Here are the main points. One, cultural expectations. The author reflects on the challenges of being a Mexican-American woman and the expectations placed on her by her family and culture. Two, father-daughter relationship. Cineros highlights her complex relationship with her father, who initially values her less than her brothers, but ultimately acknowledges her writing. 3. Loneliness and Isolation The narrative conveys feelings of being an outsider and the loneliness that comes from not fitting traditional gender roles. 4. Empowerment through writing Writing becomes a means of self-expression and empowerment for Cisneros, helping her carve out her identity. 5 desire for approval. The story examines the universal desire for parental approval and recognition, particularly in a patriarchal society. These points shows the emotional and cultural struggles the author faces as an only daughter. Important questions and detailed answers based on Sandra Cisneros's only daughter. 1. What role does cultural identity play in Cisneros's narrative? Cultural identity is central to Cisneros's narrative. As a Mexican-American woman, she grapples with the expectations imposed by her heritage, particularly the traditional preference for sons in her family. This cultural backdrop influences her sense of self-worth and her pursuit of success. She articulates how these expectations create a struggle for recognition and respect, shaping her identity as both a daughter and a writer. Ultimately, her cultural experiences inform her writing and serve as a means to assert her individuality. Two, how does Cisneros depict her relationship with her father? Cisneros depicts a complex relationship with her father, 
marked by both love and a struggle for acceptance. Initially, he does not recognize her potential as a writer, leading her to feel undervalued compared to her brothers. This lack of acknowledgement fosters a sense of inadequacy in her. However, as she achieves success in her writing, her father begins to appreciate her talents, highlighting a shift in their dynamic. This evolution reflects the broader themes of parental approval and the impact of personal achievement on familial relationships. Three, what themes of loneliness and isolation are present in the essay? Loneliness and isolation are prominent themes in Only Daughter. Cinero shares her feelings of being an outsider within her own family due to her gender and aspirations. As the only daughter, she often feels overshadowed by her brothers and disconnected from her family's expectations. This sense of isolation is compounded by her passion for writing, which sets her apart. The essay conveys how these experiences of loneliness drive her to seek solace in literature and ultimately empower her to forge her own identity. Four, how does writing serve as a source of empowerment for Cisneros? Writing is portrayed as a crucial source of empowerment for Cisneros. It allows her to articulate her thoughts, emotions, and experiences, providing a means of self-expression that is both liberating and transformative. Through writing, she asserts her voice and challenges societal norms that attempt to limit her identity. The act of creating literature not only helps her understand her own experiences, but also enables her to carve out a space for herself in a world that often marginalizes women. Five, what does Cisneros reveal about the desire for parental approval? Cisneros reveals a deep-seated desire for parental approval throughout the essay. Her longing for her father's acknowledgement of her achievements illustrates a universal quest for validation from loved ones. This desire drives her to excel in her writing, yet it also creates emotional tension as she navigates the complexities of their relationship. When her father finally recognizes her success, it signifies not just a personal victory, but also a resolution to her struggle for acceptance, highlighting the intricate dynamics of familial love and support. जब उन्हीं बूढ़ो हुए जान प्रकाशित लेखक बनछन उनले के ही पहचान पाउन थाल सिस ने रोसले आफ्नो बुबा लाई भेट न उनको पुस्तक को प्रतिलिपि प्रस्तुत गर्दा एउटा महत्वपूर्ण क्षण को वर्णन गर्छिन सुरमा उसले ढेरै भावनाहरु देखाउँदैन जसले उनलाई दुख छ यद्यपि पछि उनले उनको उपलब्धिहरुमा गर्व व्यक्त गर्छन् देखाउँछन् कि उनी उनको कामको कदर गर्न आएका छन् तर्पणी उनको छनोटलाई पूर्ण रूपमा स्वीकार गर्न गाह्रो छ निबन्धभरि सिस्ने रोसले पहिचान पारिवारिक वफादारी र परम्परागत संस्कृतिमा महिला हुनुको संघर्षका विषयवस्तुहरु खोज्छन् उनी आफैमा सत्य रहन प्रयास गर्दा स्वीकृति खोज्ने चुनौतीहरुलाई हाइलाइट गर्छन् उनको कथाको अन्त्यमा सिस्ने रोसले परिवार व समाजले राखेका अपेक्षाहरुको परवाह नगरी आफ्नो सपनाहरु पछ्याउने महत्त्वलाई जोड दिन्छ उनी एक लेखकको रूपमा आफ्नो पहिचानमा बल पाउँछिन् र महसुस गर्छिन् कि उनको आवाज महत्त्वपूर्ण छ सधैं यसलाई चिन्ह नसक्ने संसारमा पनि समग्रमा केवल छोरी आत्मखोजको यात्रा पारिवारिक सम्बन्धका जटिलताहरू र आफ्नो सपनाहरू पछ्याउनको लागि लाग्ने साहसको 
हृदय स्पर्शी प्रतिबिंब हो